I am super excited about today's project. If you were watching my video last time, you were able to design your own superpower. Today we're going to piggyback on that and you get to design a superhero that has that superpower. Today you're going to look at this Google Drawing template that you have and I have included some inspiration for you on the side. Now you could technically take these different body parts and you can use these to build a superhero. But if you do that, let me just show you, if I pull one of these over, these are transparent images, which means you can see through them, so you really can't color them very easily. And you could come over and bring these and you could adjust these and just change the sizes and build a super a superhero. Now, one thing that you can do is if you want to draw things, yes, you can use shapes to draw. So you could come up here and you could get a circle and you could turn that into an oval and you can actually start creating a face and building a face this way. You can change the color of it. Once it's highlighted, you can change it to the, own, the color of the skin you want to use. You can change that border to be a little bit, just a little bit darker. Let me try that again. Undo and then do that line, maybe a light gray. Okay, so just something very simple like that. And then you can go in and you could design your eyes. You could do all of that. Or you could also use the tool right beside the shapes where you can have different types of lines. So with this line, if you choose that first option, when you click down your mouse and you drag it over, it's just going to give you straight lines, okay? And then every time you lift up and click, it's straight lines. When you see your pointer in the shape of this, um, like this plus sign, all you have to do to make it stop is press the escape button and then you're fine. If something is highlighted, look up at the toolbar to see what you might be able to do with your toolbar. So you can change the line color. You could change the, the width of the line make it as thick as you want. You could change how the line looks, whether it's a dotted line. Let's try this one where you can see a little bit better, like that, a dotted line. Or you could even change the ending of this one, whether you wanted to have arrows on one end, it's up to you on the side, what type of arrow do you want on that side. So you can do all of that things. That's the first option. Then you have the second option where it's an arrow. So I'm going to point that and you can see that these are arrows. So you can point to different things. That's a great way to do that. And then again, you see that plus sign. I click the escape button and then it releases that tool. Then I can go back here and choose another one, the elbow connector which we used last time and you can see still it has the arrow at the end but if I clicked here it can change what the ending is so these elbow connectors are going to have that 90 degree angle all right I'm going to press that escape button again we also could use let's see the line tool the curved connector so when you have the curved connector and you just drag it it's going to do curved, right? And every time you lift up your mouse, it starts another line. Let go with the escape button. So let's go ahead and play with the curve. So when I click the curve, I can hold it down and let go. And every time I click my mouse, I just am making another turn. Okay, so you can create your own type of shapes. There you go. And once you create a shape, then you release it. I let my I release my hands and then you can see the plus sign. So I'm going to take the escape button and now I can color the inside of that. So you can actually create different types of things. If you wanted to draw hair, you could do all sorts of things doing this. You could also possibly even color the inside of something. So if we wanted to color the inside of this, I could even try to color the inside of this superhero outfit. Now, this is not going to be perfect, perfect. Okay, but look, I've just colored her orange, so I was able to do that. And if I wanted to put this in the back, I could go order and send backward. Let's try that again. Let me do order and send to the back and see what happens with that. So it kind of puts that color behind it. So you could do something like that if that is what you wanted to do.
You could design a cape if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the polyline. The polyline was going to give you straight edges. So if you wanted to design a cape, let's, let's design a cape like this. Okay. And then I enclosed it. Here we go. And then I can change the inside color to whatever I want. And then I could put that behind her. So let me go ahead and do this. And I'm going to click Arrange, Order, and send to back. And there we go, we have a cape. So you could use these things that I just showed you and the different tools that Google Drawing has to do that. You could use images if you wanted to use images. You could search the web and you can look for different things like I was looking for a cape or if you want to do a mask. I would suggest if you're going to do that that you have superhero mask transparent background. If you don't want to build a mask, you could try to make a mask like this. I'm not sure if this is going to be transparent or not. So let me show you with this. Like if I really want to work with this, what I would do here is I would press my crop right here. I would press crop and I would bring this down and then bring the black thick lines over to this and then press enter. Okay. Now I can resize it once I've done that and then I can resize it and you could even put it on your superhero. Okay. You can do all sorts of things with Google Drawing. Now the cool part about this, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click my green dot and I'm going to drag down to get all of this. And then you click the right click, your yellow dot on the mouse if you're in my classroom. You could press group and now this is just one one thing, right? And the, another great thing about this is if I go over here and I click and I press Control C for con, for copy, I can come over to a Google slide and press Control V for paste. And look, my superhero is now inside my Google slide. So you just created such an amazing thing, and you have this here, and it is your own superhero. It's also important to know that if you were doing this from home, you could also go to File and you could click Download and then you could save this as a PNG or a JPEG, which is, it would be its own picture. If you are with me in class, we're not going to download this in class. We're just going to use this and put this on our Google slide that we're going to be using next week to build a superhero universe. So we're going to be able to use that. So you want to be able to complete this today. Make sure you turn this in to Google Classroom and we'll catch you on the next video.